till now we have seen uh, the time temperature transformation diagram the TTT diagram for eutectoid steels. Now, let us look at how the in this diagram how the TTT diagram will vary if we consider hypo eutectoid or hyper eutectoid steel. Recall that in the steel phase diagram in the iron carbon phase diagram this 0 0.8 weight percent carbon steel was the eutectoid steel and this is what we have been considering till now. Any alloy with composition less than 0 0.8 weight percent is considered to be hypo eutectoid steel. So, let me take a composition. So, let me take this composition. Suppose we take a composition less than 0 0.8. So, that composition is represented by this vertical. So, my alloy composition C naught is less than 0 0.8. C naught is less than the eutectoid composition C e which is 0 0.8 weight percent carbon. So, for this composition that equilibrium transformation happens at the eutectoid temperature and also at this temperature where gamma starts transforming to alpha. So, as we cool along this line in the single phase gamma will enter into alpha plus gamma which means alpha starts precipitating and you have seen that we call this alpha the pro eutectoid alpha. So, corresponding to this in the and these temperatures in steel literature quite often these temp I have been calling this the eutectoid temperature and labeling this as T e uh, conventional labeling A 1 is also used for um, this temperature and similarly where the composition vertical hits this gamma alpha plus gamma boundary that boundary temperature is known as A 3. So, now you can see that there are two critical temperatures A 1 and A 3 for this alloy. So, this will reflect in the TTT diagram also. So, on the right I am going to draw the TTT diagram and I am now transferring these temperatures onto the TTT diagram. So, this is going to be the TTT diagram for hypo eutectoid steel. So, there is a horizontal line corresponding to A 3 and there is a horizontal line corresponding to A 1. And of course, lower down just like for eutectoid steel you will have a horizontal line for M s martensite start and M f the martensite finish. And then you have the C curves for the transformation and just like for the eutectoid steel you have two C curves for a start and finish to alpha plus F E 3 C formation. So, this is alpha plus F E 3 C region and you know we have seen that above the nose we get perlite. So, I write that perlite both are alpha plus F E 3 C, but microstructure are different and below the nose we get bainite. Similarly, between the start and finish we have austenite plus perlite and austenite plus bainite. But a stable austenite in this you can see single phase stable austenite will be available only above A 3. So, we have there the stable austenite. and below A 1 of course, austenite is unstable. So, we have 
unstable austenite. I am writing austenite A, or you can write gamma also. I have used gamma here. Now, you should be familiar with both these symbols. And however, as you can see that since proeutectoid alpha can form independently of Fe 3 C between A 1 and A 3, a corresponding line of the TTT diagram is required to represent this transformation. And that line starts from the nose of the C curve and goes asymptotically to the A 3 temperature. So, this is we can call this alpha start pro eutectoid alpha. So, this is an alpha start curve and the phase in here between this line and this line is austenite plus alpha the pro eutectoid alpha and the pro eutectoid alpha will continue here. So, we will modify this with austenite plus pro eutectoid alpha plus pearlite and the final microstructure also you will get pearlite plus pro eutectoid alpha. So, this is how the diagram gets modified. You can see that in the modified diagram there is no extension of the pro eutectoid alpha line below the nose. So, if I quench a steel hypo eutectoid steel below the nose and hold it isothermally, I will only get bainite, I will not get any pro eutectoid alpha. But if I quench and hold above the nose, then initial transformation will be to pro eutectoid alpha and then further pilite will form. Now, exactly similar situation is there for hyper eutectoid steel. Hyper eutectoid steel you should note are steel with composition greater than. So, C naught is greater than 0.8 the eutectoid composition. So, the composition vertical is on the right hand side of 0.8 and there the phage is gamma plus Fe 3 C. So, the pro eutectoid phase which you form is cementite. Just like we had called this boundary, the temperature corresponding to this boundary A 3 in steel literature, the temperatures corresponding to this boundary are known as A C m. So, I have two critical temperature A 1 which is independent of composition and A C m which will depend on composition. So, I transfer this on the temperature axis of uh, the TTT diagram. So, I have A 1 here and A C m here and I have the two corresponding horizontal line. Again you have horizontal lines for M S and M F as well. And you have the start and finish line for perlite and bainite, but at the same time you have a line representing the start of pro eutectoid cementite. So, this is pro F E 3 C start. This goes as it starts with the nose and goes asymptotically to the A C M temperature. So, if we write the phages we have stable austenite, then we have here austenite plus cementite, here we will have austenite plus pro Fe 3 C plus perlite and finally, we will have pro Fe 3 C plus perlite. But just like in the hypotectoid case, if you quench below the nose, there is no formation of pro eutectoid Fe 3 C, it is totally suppressed and you will get only bainite. 
there will be no proeutectoid Fe 3 C. This obviously is gamma plus Martin site and this is Martin site. So, this is how the diagram changes for hypoeutectoid and hyperutectoid steels.